how's it going everybody what do we have here we have a sea snake and a catfish and who is winning this encounter well it's pretty clear the catfish seems to be dead now this is a striped eel catfish and it's an adult animal so this is really above the prey size of the sea snake so I actually don't think that the sea snake killed this catfish, but these animals are very sensitive in terms of their sense of smell. So probably encountered it and they checked it out and it didn't like it or it was just too big for it to eat. So it decided to take a breath. Now these snakes, obviously, they are lung breathers. You know, these are reptiles quite obviously not fish so they do have to take a breath once in a while so here you have that sea snake on the water surface really something you don't see very often and the fact is these are highly adapted to life in the water and there's even some amount of skin respiration so they can take up oxygen through their skin so to come back to the catfish probably this was just a random find by that snake and i followed that snake around for some time and it did not return to the catfish or attempt to feed on it in fact, this, uh, these snakes, they're typically going for small, burrow-dwelling fishes, uh, eels, things like that. And yes, so this is a yellow-lipped sea crate, Laticauda columbrina. And even though if I'm talking to some of my herb friends in the Philippines, there is the suspicion that there would be Philippine endemics, so that some of these snakes are actually separate species, but that remains to be determined. So where did I find this whole encounter? This is in the seagrass of Negros Island in the Philippines, and you see these concrete domes. So. These are efforts to create fish habitats, uh, you know, so-called artificial reefs. We will come back to that later. And you see the seagrass here. Seagrass is actually a proper plant. This is a vascular pr plant. There's a, there's a little bit of corals growing here. And the seagrass is a very valuable habitat. Now, regarding the perspective here, this is the Inon Buck Islands, which is a close focus wide angle lens. And I really enjoy this lens both for the artistic effect as well as for the way you can capture you know, animals close up plus the whole background. Now, Next, we're going to go for something completely different. This animal is a sea slug, a nudibranch, and particularly the species is Yoruna funebris. And, you know, these animals we don't see all the time, but they're not particularly rare either. Quite interesting, if you look below its gills, there is this hole. So actually in the uh, recent month, I've seen this a few times. So I'm not sure if this is the effect of predation or if this is a survived infection where the tissue became neurotic. Necrotic, of course, not neurotic. So here you see the gills. So the gills of these nudibranchs are exposed. So hence the name, you know, nude, naked, branchs, gills. And this is where they take up oxygen. So, you know, nudibranchs are really these, these pets of divers. There are so many different species that, they, you know, there's quite a, a treasure hunt to go for these animals quite beautiful very often the shapes and the patterns so there is a paper where somebody looked at the chemistry of these animals and they analyzed the skin and they analyzed the uh, prey animals which are sponges and they found a couple of pis, pis tetra hydroisoquinoline quinones which are alkaloids and here are these alkaloids so there are eight different compounds so these are these complex organic molecules with a, a rings attached to each other and these are probably produced in sponges 
and then they found eight such compounds in sponges and out of the eight compounds they found seven in the nudibranchs so the probably the nudibranchs accumulate them they're toxic and then the nudibranchs also uh, profit from the protective value of this compound so really quite interesting chemistry of these animals now what do we have here we have a bunch of striped eel catfish again like at the beginning of the video so this is how they live as juvida so even as young adults they are in these dense schools with this odd you know schooling behavior where they're they're really not going in the same direction but they're forming this cloud of active fish quite curious to film these are actually common animals so there are lots of individuals that you would see a school on you know almost every dive but interestingly there's only one species of this catfish here in the region now where are they so they are in this car wrecks and you know these are efforts to build artificial reefs so you can see the engines and hopefully a lot of the you know, oil and stuff was removed so these are not environmental threats and it's not that somebody drove into the ocean in an accident so yeah these were sunk on purpose now i've made a separate video with my thoughts on the topic and i've also interviewed my friend kat Lawson on you know efforts to re rehabilitate the ocean so you can see there are more fishes here there is quite a dense school of surgeon fish which are probably grazing on the filamentous algae which are growing on the surfaces of these cars and there is a large bed fish in this car and um, there are two cleaneresses, which I thought was quite interesting. So I followed this behavior for some time. So the cleaneresses are this elongated white, black, and yellow fish, bluish black and yellow fish, which are taking parasites of the bigger fish. And this is really one of my main projects for 2024 to shoot a documentary about the cleaneresses. Now, what's going on with these car wrecks are they pretty you will be the judge and the question from a biologist's point of view uh, is this solving a problem you know there was a healthy seagrass habitat there before so you know does the ocean need help at this location which is actually a, a really clean you know, intact marine ecosystem to begin with so these are the question everybody who tries to establish an artificial reef should ask himself or herself um, so i don't want to give answers i want to pose questions and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video see you soon